This is a demo to show you how to set up the mill for use with your keychain here on the Techno CNC interface. You'll note on the desktop there should be a file called Techno CNC interface or Techno G code interface. Go ahead and double click on that. Bring up a screen that looks kind of like this. You're going to want to translate execute, and once you've done that, it'll ask you what file you want to use. Click on My Documents and then the Small Mill file. In this case, we're going to use Alec, Jan Alec Jackson underscore chain. Note that it is an NCD file. Uh, if your file is an NC file, that will not work on the small mill that we're using. Um, I believe we're using a DaVinci style, not that it matters for you, but once I've got my file selected, I want to preview it first and check out how it looks. It's going to show me a screen kind of like that. Um, note that in our file, it starts out in the bottom left corner. It's going to raise up an inch and then start its, uh, its cuts. That looks good shouldn't look really weird, but if, assuming that looks good, go ahead and exit in that bottom right hand screen. Then we need to tell the computer where that bottom left uh, zero, zero, zero point is. And to do that, we're going to use the jog function. So we're going to place it in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and take a piece of scrap wood or a practice little blank. We'll load that in and clamp it down. Note that the clamp was loose. And now it is tight. We want to make sure that it's set in there flat. There's no scraps or dust underneath it. Then we need to raise or lower the cutter as well as move it um, forwards or backwards or laterally to, uh, to get that aligned on the bottom zero, zero point. That plus symbol will raise it on the Z axis going up and down. Right now it's going to move it in what's called step mode. You'll notice the step size is only five thousandths of an inch. I can change that to continuous mode and uh, that will allow it to move a little more quickly but not quite as accurately, not as controlled I should say. So I'm going to get close with continuous mode and then I'm going to switch to step mode and then uh, just walk it in. So there's the z-axis moving up and down. We're going to get as close as we can with continuous but then once we get real close we're going to change the step mode. Take it down to that bottom left corner until it's just barely above it. Once I'm at that zero point, I can go ahead and click on zero and then zero all. And you'll notice that up here in the upper left corner where it says position, once you hit zero all, it's going to take those and change them to all zeros. That's an important change. Your cutter should be just above the tip. Once you've done all that, you can go ahead and start your video or start your cutter. And then here's just a couple slides going through here of uh, that cutter running should be running, uh, we're around about ten thousandths of an inch on depth. And if it's cutting above your part, then you can go ahead and hit pause. And I'll show you a picture of that here. But if you need to, if it's cutting too high, go ahead and hit pause and then return. It'll take it back to zero, where you could then jog it down and then restart your program. Um, if it's cutting very well, then you can go ahead and let the program run. And when you're finished, hit exit. That should take care of you. Good luck.